two poor artists where we're not good guys, we're poor guys. But mostly, we're poor at making art. I'm Benj. And I'm Isaac. And this week, we are attempting to draw the title Free Guy, because we are just hot off the the movie theater watching experience. I don't even know if that makes sense. But we just saw Free Guy in theaters, Ryan Reynolds' new comedy video game movie, and we uh, absolutely loved it. So, of course, we're going to ruin it. <laughs> yep. So, obviously, for any of you who have uh, seen our channel before, you'll know that we're not going to draw anything to do with the actual movie. No. Uh, we're just going to draw the title Free Guy and whatever that might mean to us. Yeah. Like, for example, Isaac's, uh, you know, table of spaghetti here. Not, I'm sure, and I know we criticize our art all the time, but I'm sure this is very clear. This is a girl sitting in a chair, and that's her hair coming over the back of the chair. Mm -hmm. And she's apparently really short because her head barely makes it over the top of the chair. But, you know. Yeah, her feet reach all the way. But her hat, so she just has like a really short torso. If I took the time it would take to make beautiful... Okay, I'll give her a neck here. How about this one? This girl is a little bit taller and has a neck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, immediately uh, engulfed by her head. Yeah, with the next girl, I can cover... I can, <laughs> I can fix this. It would be much easier if I could erase, but it would break yeah. our... No, one of our erasing. Yeah, this girl also has long hair, and she... Uh, she has the same shoes as the first girl. They're rounded in the back. <laughs> Doesn't everybody have the same shoes? Uh, oh man, what if her legs is different than the other? But <laughs> it's just it's just how she's sitting in the chair. Just assume it has everything to do with how she's sitting in the chair. This girl that we're I'm about to draw, she's gonna have a, a neck. <laughs> uh, so I'm assuming that you're doing some sort of like audience. Like, how many girls are you planning to draw? Uh, I mean, we could be here all afternoon, but I think at this point in the event that's happening... Oh, I'm going to try something. This girl's going to wear a... She has a skirt on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and then her legs sticking out of the skirt. So she's not identical to the other girls. Yeah, but she has the same shoes still. So, well, all girls in my universe have the same shoes. And they're all full holding their arms like in their lap, <laughs> so you can't yeah. see their arms. No, why would you see their arms? Yeah, we need at least a few more girls. You know, like, why are you bothering drawing the head when you just are drawing hair? Well, how about... Covering? Oh, gosh. Like, see, that uh, doesn't even matter because you just draw hair. And it immediately... Well, I just want to give some context to the viewing audience. There is, in fact, a uh, head behind the hair. This girl has shorter hair than the other ones. This head's sticking out too much. Like, her hair's thinning a bit too much. There's a bald spot. All right, let's move on. Legs. <clears throat> so you already mentioned that we uh, enjoyed the movie Free Guy. Yeah. It's hard um, not to enjoy a Ryan Reynolds movie these days. Yeah, it's true. It's not like we watched another Green Lantern or something like that. And even the Green Lantern was all right at the beginning. It wasn't as bad as people make it out to be, but the end of it was definitely it was, pretty It was bad. a good origin story. They just immediately jumped to his hardest villain. Yeah, they try to cram too much stuff into the movie, like so many superhero movies do. Yeah, it had like two of his like biggest villains in the same movie. And it's his origin story. Like you can, you can calm down a little bit. Yep. Uh, Free Guy didn't do any of that though. Um, yeah, Free Guy was just a good movie. It's hard to give too much away about it without spoiling things about the movie. Uh, actually. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we could talk about. It. I mean, it's. I feel like to really enjoy the movie, you have to be like a huge uh, video game fan, but mm -hmm. uh, that's not necessarily true. Yeah, it's just, you, don't, you don't really have to know a lot about video games to enjoy it, um, but you'll definitely get more of the jokes if you've played video games before, because they, they throw in some video game humor uh, in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely had a lot of video game references that I think added to it, but you could enjoy it either way. It yeah. was fantastic. And I know like people who have seen it who didn't really care about video games that much, but still really enjoyed the movie. Even mm -hmm. if they didn't understand most of the references. Yeah. It also has like uh 
you know, know references outside of video game. game. Uh, like it has uh, Marvel references, and uh, what were some of the other ones? It had. <clears throat> I, I mean, now that now that it's made by Disney, Disney, it had like multiple Disney references to it. Yeah, that's true. Which is kind of nice. A lot of people didn't exactly like the idea of Disney buying uh, up Marvel and Star Wars and all that. But yeah, honestly, I think it just yeah this allows was, them to do this was what would have been a Fox movie, but they don't even call it Fox anymore. It's just Twenty First Century or whatever. Yeah, Twenty First Century Studios or whatever. Oh gosh, I've drawn this person. This is a person, in case you can't tell, has a big. And she was supposed to be like a top hat, but he shows, he turned into a pilgrim. I think. Also, is this guy in front of these ladies, uh, or is he just a giant? He was supposed to be like up on stage, but he's like in the distance. Like, yeah, but he's in the distance, but he's huge. Like, look at his head compared to the girls' heads, and he's farther away. <laughs> he's he's. He's uh, huge, <laughs> like you said. <laughs> or they're all tidy. One, one of the two. He also has really short legs. <laughs> like, these aren't shorts. <laughs> Those are his legs. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. Those are his I legs. See. And he's gonna... Because he's, he's not a good guy. He's a great guy. No, this guy, this guy has very little to do with the drawing. Uh-oh. He does have round hands, though. <laughs> As do all people in the foreseeable universes that I draw. <laughs> also, I have to convey, like, concern in his eyes. But first, I'll give him a... You know, he's, he's just up on stage. He's got... Is he wearing, like, a fancy shirt? Kind of like a tie, but you can't really tell because it yeah. comes to oh, a point in a weird way. Or like a carrot. Yeah. Maybe it's like a bolo. Bolo tie. We can go with that. He kind of, like with that hat and stuff, he kind of looks like somebody who'd wear a bolo tie. There. Guy. He's like kind of like the Monopoly guy. <laughs> he's like the Monopoly guy's like nephew. Yeah, he's he doesn't have much authority in whatever field he's in, but he has an A on his hat for auctioneer. Oh, he's an auctioneer. Yeah, he's wearing the auctioneer's hat. I've never been to an auction. You could have just like drawn a podium in front of him and not worried about most of. I mean, like you got you got to learn like. You want to not draw as much as possible, so you just like draw a podium. Is that the artist's code draw the least amount possible? Yeah, well, that's our artist code. Mm-hmm. Now he has a podium. The problem is, I don't know how to convey like where he's actually standing. <laughs> he's he's not floating necessarily. I think your fire alarm's going off. Well, then we should probably check on that and come back in a second. <laughs> Thank goodness. Crisis averted. Either <laughs> yeah. the house is completely burnt down, or the fire alarm just randomly turned off. Mm-hmm. Either way, back to the option here. Both fine with us. Yep. yep. I'm sure everyone's fine. Uh, what do auctioneers have? They have like that hammer thing, right? Like a... Like a, like a judge? Like a gavel? Yeah. Right? I, I guess they have to like hit it to say who won or whatever maybe i think that is accurate I, again i've never actually been to an auction i've like watched stuff about auctions on tv i suppose yeah, i've been to like fake auctions what is a fake auction but, like the things the churches they like have. pretend to sell things but then they're like oh just kidding no like like things the churches have where they're just like raising money for missions or whatever ah so it's like, it's kind of like an auction, but it's not like they get somebody who's actually done an auction before. They just do whatever they want. I see. What or those or those blind auctions where you just like write your name and how much you're willing to pay and hope it's more than somebody else wrote. I mean, that's kind of what we're going for in this picture. I, again, just don't know how to convey that he's up on stage. So for now, 
How about we just like <laughs> I almost want to just draw him like floating. <laughs> He's just like a magic flying. He kind of looks like a fifth dimensional imp from DC Comics. Because he has really short legs and he's just not human. You're really big enough. head. He doesn't look legs. human enough, but uh, he's like definitely Mr. Mitchell. You Mitchell. know those like auctions? I don't. I don't know if this actually exists, but in like every TV show, I feel like they have like the charity auction, and they're like, "Oh, there's auction off a date with a, a gentleman," and now the ladies are like, "Oh yeah, I'll give all my savings." In the whole world, just to hang out with this guy. And you're like, does this really happen in the real world? Maybe we're just not rich enough to understand. We don't get invited to these weird auctions. Mm -hmm. That's the auction we're looking at here. And that's why. Yeah, I, I feel, feel like, like it, it must have happened, happened like in like the 80s or 90s. Or 90s. Whenever, yeah. yeah, whenever it happened, it was weird. Maybe it still happened. Maybe people are watching this are like, oh, yeah, I went to a charity auction this week and auction this week and like, hung out with the complete stranger that I paid to hang out with me because I have uh, too much money and no friends. Yeah, I remember it happened in Groundhog Day. Oh, yeah, that's true. And everybody uh, wanted... Yeah. What's his name? Uh, only towards, like, the end of the movie when he became better. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it happened in the Full House show. Did it? Yeah, I think it was when they were raising money for the uh, club that he... That, uh, that the cool uncle... Wanted to open up. <laughs> oh dear. Is that the shape of a guy's head? It's what we're going for. Okay. It's what we're going for. Uh, uh, it's got some wrinkles. And he's got some eyebrows. Hmm. Eyebrows and, and wrinkles. Does he have hair? Like... That why oh is that his eye <laughs> way down there on his cheek? You know, normally I would be like, oh, so upset that I accidentally did this, but like it legitimately right now looks like his head is upside down, and those wrinkles are his lips. This is what I was going for, for the record. Oh, okay. Like legitimately, uh, not not I'll like believe you, not like a normal. Uh, his body he's turning out much more alien looking <laughs> than i originally uh yeah like i'm assuming the joke you're going here for is uh, a free guy as in he's free yeah, well, at this oh, auction man you're giving away spoilers um but honestly if somebody like this came you would just be like what can this alien teach us <laughs> i'll pay any price just want to point out that this alien has one of the better looking hands I've ever drawn on a creature. <laughs> That's true. You should have just tried to draw normal hands and they would have become mangled. Trying trying to draw bad hands. Oh, is that an extra <laughs> finger? He uh he might be human. <laughs> he might be. It's it's hard to tell. But I uh, mean technically that's just five, like a normal person. But um yeah, we don't draw five finger people though. So yeah, five fingers is just too much to fit on a hand. Like I don't know how we have five fingers on our actual hands. Yeah, it is. It is very complicated like, when you how, to draw it. How do they fit on the palm? I don't know. But either way, this is the guy that's you know up for grabs to for the ladies. You don't even have like a full stage. You just have like a little <laughs> <laughs> stand. This is. In case you haven't gotten the news, this isn't like the highest quality one of these uh, auctions, date auctions. Like, it's definitely not. In fact, uh, like I feel like these are just the only two single guys. In fact, his this guy's stage isn't in, even in this town. <laughs> it is kind of like that. And the auctioneer might not even be a single guy. You ever see the movie The Proposal, another Ryan Reynolds movie? There's like a guy in town who does like every job and everybody knows me, like works in the shop and he's like the, the dancer of the town and performs the marriage and he's like every job. Everyone kind of knows him. That's this guy. What, is he shirtless? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not a face. That's a <laughs> belly button. I I kind of understood. This guy, <laughs> so so bad. 
Although honestly, he might be better than your hairy butts that you drew. <laughs> that, uh, was that two two weeks ago? Hair fixes everything, doesn't it? Mm, it can fix some. There, I gave him some hair. You know, hair in his ears. Too. <laughs> that was just the shape of his ear. <laughs> but you, you're probably right. You could probably use a couple strands. <laughs> there. Uh, so there's the ladies in the audience. They're like, super... I see one of them already ran away. <laughs> she's going to, yeah. So she's just like, <laughs> we're finally going to see what the full body of one of these. Short, short torso, long leg girls look like. Yep, it's <laughs> it's definitely gonna happen. Especially since this one's standing up and is the same height as the girls that are sitting down. <laughs> Email. <laughs> I'm out. How come I, I I know I didn't mention this when you were drawing it, but how come the uh, the foot of the stage the auctioneer is standing on is just not connected? When we were talking about the quality of this auction, <laughs> I accidentally did that, and I think it just fits. You have to picture him saying this, like, in quick succession, like an auctioneer does. Mm-hmm. Well, he probably, like, repeated each one a couple times. Yeah, no, Probably. These ladies aren't having it, though. Well, I mean, but look at look at that guy. I mean, someone will love him. The kind of ladies who come to these auctions, though, they aren't looking for a guy like this. There's a woman out there for him. She could be, like, at the local restaurant or, uh, you know, she's still... On his home planet. <laughs> but the ladies here are shallow, and they can't see past the... Yeah, uh, third I mean, nipple. I guess you'd have to be. <laughs> I guess you'd have to be at least somewhat shallow to go to a auction for a date. Yep. Yep. So they're just kind of like, uh, "What is this?" He's he's like the first one of the night too. He's the best. <laughs> he's the, the <laughs> they started the with like they're like, "Let's get him warmed up with something really great," and then they'll be more eager to bid on the other ones later because you know they'll feel like. I don't know how they do. Maybe they, maybe they saved him for last. Yes. They've been talking him up all night, like, "Oh, ladies, save your money!" And they're like, "Oh yeah, we're not going to bid. We saved our pocket change." And then they introduce this creature, man, guy. He's free, I, I, free guy. I also noticed that his legs are a single stick. <laughs> it's just nobody else. It's just legs a perspective are. thing. He like has never worked out his legs. Very very skinny. <laughs> very very skinny. So. I think I saw somebody at the gym the other day that was like that. Really? Like, like the the skip the always skip leg day guy, but he also always skipped forearm day. Like he had super huge chest, super big shoulders, really big biceps, and then his forearms and legs were tiny. Wow! Like he looked like a cartoon character. See, it's not that far uh, far fetched then, I suppose. Free guy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, I can see, see that, that guy, guy being free. Yeah. Let's put our name and age. Let's make it an official piece of art. And uh, we'll pass it over to you. Okay, let's see what I draw for this. It's not going to be prettier than what I drew. 
You see that? Be ugly, you right? see that? I like, look at that. that. I could add another one. <laughs> another nipple? <laughs> well, you could never have too many. <laughs> Once you got three, don't draw them. Like, you have to assume the perception, like the you know perspective in my drawing. You have to assume they're like further in the room. See, like everybody in like your you drawing could, is like weirdly short. You could have like a well, yeah, again, it's just like an angle thing. I don't think it is. I think it is because like you have to assume that they're not just floating above the crowd. You have to assume that they're like further out in the room. I'm sure like an actual artist would just be able to draw like two lines and you'd be able to see like the whole room. The thing is like this guy's farther away and so is this guy, but their heads are significantly larger. The fourth woman in line, I realized too, is also like really short her feet don't reach the floor and her head is just barely above the... yeah but she's probably the most like correct proportion wise i don't know it's hard to tell because like look at these guys their heads are huge but they're short well i purposely made them strange looking like like but compared to these girls right his head is way bigger but he's like the same height <laughs> And he's farther away. <laughs> there are some giants and there are some very small people. But then even these girls, like the proportion from their head, because you're supposed to be what, like seven heads tall? Uh, She's like three. <laughs> <laughs> again, again, it's all... Like, I, I don't know if seven heads is the correct thing because I'm not an artist. We'll have to figure out like the exact height of these people just somehow. But in the meantime, you should probably start your drawing. Okay. Uh, there's there's lots <clears throat> more we'll be able to criticize here once you're done. I'm going to hit this uh, clear button. That's not the clear button. Mm. The clear button. The, you know, the clear there's button. only six buttons. The clear on the, button. There eight buttons on the thing. I think we only use four of them. Oh, that's the size button. How is it possible that you have not found the button? Oh, okay. Well, the re it was because I apparently uh, wasn't uh, clicked on it. Excuses. Just draw. Okay, uh, so we're drawing Free Guy, which, uh, as you may know, is pretty close uh, to freedom. <laughs> uh, so, oh, is Mister Murica coming we're back? Gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna bring him back. Is Mister Murica coming Mr. back? Mister Murica, oh yeah. I mean, if you have a Free Guy, let me tell you, yeah, if, that yeah. guy is your free guy if you are not acquainted with mr murica you need to pause this video right now and go back and watch our drawing from about a month ago when we drew freedom because mr murica with his american flag headband yeah i don't i don't really remember exactly how the headband went but you know, uh, i think it looks pretty good it's, it's pretty much like this yep and then uh he definitely had a mullet because uh, anybody that is Mr. Murica, you got to have that like buzz top mullet. Yeah. There thing. are countries where I feel like you're arrested for having a mullet, but not in Mr. Murica, not in America. Like you can go around with a horrible hairdo and no one's going to say anything. Oh God. <laughs> he, he still has mm. those, uh, those lips, you know, because, uh, <laughs> All of my guys have those lips. It always looked like they're about to take a bite out of something. Maybe they always are. He's going to take a bite out of freedom. That That's his teeth. Oh, gosh. I don't know if he had teeth last time. You know but... what? I see. I don't really remember exactly what he looked like. I just know he had a mullet. Maybe he just wasn't smiling last time. Yeah, because he was looking, he was looking at a guy who wasn't free last mm, time. That's right. Who didn't truly know uh, freedom yet. I'm sure he's back to teach us a new life lesson this week about freedom. Yeah, but he's 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 buff. He's still still buff. His arm might break at the joint there, but uh... yeah, I mean, you gotta you gotta have that one joint. So are you just gonna draw him, and then that's like it this week? Like, oh, there's free well, guy. That is the free guy. Uh, you know. That's a His chance. Sleeveless was shirt. he wearing jorts before or jeans? I, I don't, don't think Mr. Murica wears I don't, jorts. I don't feel like I made him wear jorts, but that does feel like a... I mean, it's safe to say he probably has more than one change of freedom clothes, but... 
You never actually no, know. No, not, not this guy. <laughs> so he's kind of just like, oh. This guy has only one mm. pair of clothes. He spent know. all his money on his bald eagle. <laughs> well, speaking of that, are you going to draw the gonzo eagle again? <laughs> well, I can't, I can't make it better. <laughs> oh, gosh. The gonzo eagle? Is, no, that's not half bad. It doesn't have quite the hooked, like, rounded nose as last time. I could almost believe that that's an eagle. Oh, that's just never mind. What is it? It's like a it's like a worm with an eagle head, like a snake. It's just the way eagles where are. Is it, where is it? How is it perched on him? It's perched on his shoulder. It's leaning forward a lot. Well, and then and then this is its tail. It's just big. Oh, okay. big big bald eagle. I'm not gonna question it. So. Uh, I mean, bald eagles aren't, like, small, so... I mean, that's true. It would probably be much bigger than what you actually drew. Um, yeah. So, I'm just going to give him pants that go all the way down. Ah, uh, it's winter. But he definitely has pockets. Because if you don't have pockets, are you really free? Nope. Pockets... The po question for pockets every... Pockets are the sign of the freedom. The question for every girl watching our video yeah. right now. If you don't have pockets... Are you really free? Mm -hmm. Are you free to go into public and carry your your phone and your keys and your wallet and your credit cards if you can't even carry them all without having to carry around a bag? Yeah. Never buy clothes that don't have pockets on them. That is my philosophy. I almost feel like Mr. America lost some weight since last time. Like he's been working out, traveling the world. Yeah, I definitely drew him skinnier. Uh, not really on purpose, but, you know. It but, gets I mean, the point across. This guy is the free guy, as as we know. <laughs> but, just it? Just him? No, because if you remember countryside? last time, there was that prisoner, and he said, but are you? So now oh, yes. we're going to see him as a free guy. <laughs> this is like chapter two of their, this is like of chapter their, two. their saga. Yeah. The free we'll see, guy and we'll see if I can draw him at all similar like to what he looked like before. But obviously now <laughs> he has a mullet. Oh, oh yeah. The international sign of freedom. Because you are you free if you don't have a mullet? Uh, I question it every day if I should grow one or not. Just to show that you're free. Just to show that and I'm now free. he's smiling. There's a whole, like, redneck aspect to having a mullet, too, though, that I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. Well, are you really free if you're not a redneck? <laughs> Rednecks do seem to be pretty free. And now he's not, like, oh, this, super buff. This guy yet. hasn't hit the gym yet. No. He's just like, got he's, a mullet. <laughs> he's he's working on it, mm -hmm. right? I mean, but he's not, he's not, like, he's not Mr. America yet. <laughs> he's got, he's got his, mm. his can also. But it's probably like iced tea or something. It's definitely smaller. You know, what I wouldn't mind is when Free Guy 2 comes out, because I'm pretty sure Ryan Reynolds said they're going to make Free Guy 2. When Free Guy 2 comes out, Mr. Murk has got to be a character in it. Like, he just shows up asking if everybody's free, bald eagle on his shoulder. He could be like the second main character. Him and Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, that would... I would, I would approve. And you know, I think Ryan Reynolds should play him along with <laughs> as a guy. second character. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I just realized like that Mister America is probably shirtless, <laughs> but that's what he's just <laughs> that, like. Freedom. I don't really know how to fix that. Well, he's he's very free. He's, he's just... just as free as possible. So. Uh, <laughs> Yep. I don't think he's as free as possible. You did draw him with pants. Oh, uh, yeah. But, I mean, this is a family-friendly show that uh, we have here. Thank you for bringing it down to the PG <laughs> level. Um, yeah, so, I mean, this is this is the same guy as before. But he's, he's just, like, slightly more free because he has a drink and he a, has mullet. a mullet. Uh, and That's it? Here, we'll, we'll, have, we'll give, him, give him a little heart tattoo here. I don't just, know if you're going to fit USA in there. No, it's just going to say... Maybe he's just got the U. <laughs> just, uh... No, it's going to have an A for America. Oh, okay. Perfect. 
Yeah. Uh, his arm wasn't big enough to get the full tattoo yet. <laughs> he'll, tattoo he'll work like, out. He'll work out of it and then get the full the tattoo. tattoo later. He's like, you want all three letters across <laughs> your arm? He's like, I don't know if I can fit them there. You're pretty, see, pretty scrawny. See how small your arm is? Like, you need to work out like Mr. Murica. Then we can get all three letters. Yeah. Next, next time we write something with the word free in it, you'll see his full <laughs> transformation. Oh, I can't wait to see the full progression of Murica man and freedom lad <laughs> they're gonna become a superhero team i could see it uh, I, like I was the... gonna write the full title before i did the quotes but uh, i guess that's not having it <laughs> free yeah uh, yeah this just quotes are the quotes are just... now it just makes it question like free he got like the just the free is in quotes oh man <laughs> changes not, the whole that's meaning not, that's not what it's supposed to be this guy is clearly free yeah like look at him uh-huh Yep. Well, your title suggests otherwise. And he's gonna he's gonna say, "I'm free." <laughs> oh. And he's gonna great. say, <laughs> "But are you?" Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. What a it's intelligent no, it's, conversation! It's no longer, "But are you?" Because mm. look at him. He's got a mullet. He's got a drink and a mullet. He's and part of a tattoo. He needs, like, I can't wait to see the next saga. He can get, like, a little bird next time. Like, he's not ready for a bald. He yeah. He'll have, like, a like a parakeet. A little, <laughs> little, little finch or something on his arm. Hummingbird. Something that the bald eagle is going to, like, snack on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just we'll just, we're just going to, we're going to, we're going to just over here draw. Something more uh, free. A flagpole. <laughs> That a perfectly straight flag. Uh, yeah, no, it's. You know how they have those flags that were like, the flag kind of looks really old, but it's like it was from this this battle when we saved the flag off of this ship or what? What? It's just, it's just the way, like it's it's uh, hung okay. on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. I think this flagpole was like from a battle. <laughs> They're like we we salvaged the flagpole. The whole ship went down, but we salvaged yeah. just the flagpole. You think, you think from this the guy would bottom have of the ocean. just a standard American flag? Mm -hmm. No, he has like the American flag. <laughs> like, like this is like the, the first first, the first flagpole in the first flag. He's just been like restoring it. I can't wait to sit here for the next half hour while you draw all thirteen oh, stripes and the fifty stars. It is not gonna be that accurate. Mm. He has it's the American be, flag, but it's not that it's accurate. Gonna, it's gonna be it's gonna be as many it's like as a, easily fit. It's like a tribute to the American flag. The stripes don't even quite make it to the end and it's been there's like there's like maybe three stars. <laughs> Come on, you can fit at least five in there. Yeah, you know. And if the, you just imagine the ten five, times that, yeah, it's it's representing of the five, <laughs> representing five groups states. of ten states. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Everybody knows. Mm. Everybody knows you group the ten states. Did Mister America like okay. bring that with him, and he just like plants it behind wherever he's standing? No, the whole point is that he's saying yes because they are now in America. Oh, oh. he was like he would if if they were still not in america he would have said but are you this just sounds like a weird like fan fiction that we've started about <laughs> mr america and the... he he goes to other countries he questions their freedom brings them to america and now they're free he just, like stands outside their prisons and <laughs> like scolds them when they say they're actually free yeah that's he's he's like a superhero it's just like that in, frees people it's just like in the movie Yes. Exactly just, the same plot. Just like Free Guy. Except with a lot of humor and more video game references. Yes. So. Uh, but yeah, that's that's our video. Yep. I'm glad you all turned in. Again, thanks for making it this far. If you did, you were a true fan and you should be proud of yourself and also a little bit ashamed that you spent your afternoon or morning or nights or even your time on the toilet watching this. Yeah. You could have spent it so much better. But until next time, goodbye. As always, we're surprised you made it this far into our video. There's no way we could possibly ask you to subscribe to this atrocity, so we won't. We would say share it with your friends, but it's probably better for wasting your enemy's time. We're probably not going to get any better, but we will keep drawing. See you next time.